people go into this, this scenario of trying to implement laboratory informatics because they want to get the business value uh, that they can from this type of software. Where people go wrong is they tend to assume that it's not too difficult. Really, it's a matter of do you have the appropriate in-house expertise to get this kind of thing done. And if you do, there is no reason why you can't do it yourself. But a lot of people don't, and they need someone who has done it before, who's experienced, who's capable, who can help them uh, navigate this LIMS implementation project. And a long time ago in the mid-80s, I worked as a lab supervisor, and one of my first jobs was to implement a system like this. And as commonly happens as a first-timer, I thought, how hard can it be? It's just a matter of implementing a bit of software. Uh, it was very difficult to find the time from all the people to do the work because they still had their day jobs. So that eventually worked, but it took me 1.5 years instead of six months, which is what we planned to do. And as a result of that, I learned that, hey, that's not a very effective way to get this done. Fast forward 30 years on, people still trying to do the very same thing. One of the most common problems is that people um, try and do it in addition to their regular job. I can just ask my people to spend one to two hours a day working on this system and that will somehow get done in a reasonable uh, period of time. And it just can't happen, there's too much to do. Problem number two can be that I don't have the expertise that I need to do the particular task. I don't have an expert project leader who can lead this thing for me. And so if I'm trying to do it myself, which I've seen people do this, I've tried to do it, you know, suddenly learn everything that you need to know to do something like this for the first time. The point of this is to try and get it done properly, not kind of muddle your way through with a sort of partially successful uh, implementation because these can be easily million dollar projects so you don't want to be working through this without the uh, expert knowledge you need. Well the obvious reason why people would want to skip a step is one they may not be aware that that step is is necessary and particularly for people who are going at it for the first time I would say that's the most common reason. Another scenario could be that there's a business driver to try and do this faster. The best way to look at this is if you, if you do any activity a large number of times, you get really good at it. If you do that activity only once, uh, then you're probably going to miss things that an expert would know. And it's going to make your life that much more difficult because then you have to go through the correction of the things you did wrong. The value of working with us is mainly about ensuring success. That could be people, maybe you're missing a, a uh, certain skill within your team. It could be that you have that skill but not enough of it. Our job is really to come alongside you and fill in wherever you need help. Leadership, if you need leadership, we can provide technical support. If you need technical support, we can do documentation. If you need documentation, we can help you with master data if you need that. So the point of, of, of Seesaws is to help you get this thing done faster as efficiently as possible.